one thing I am... Hello, my name is Michael. And uh, let me share with you what's been something I've been feeling out and thinking about. Um, is living in the moment. And I've been in and out of living in the moment in my life. And when I am completely immersed in the moment and loving every bit of it, I became somebody I didn't conceptually realize I could. And it was just a pure magic ride. Um, I didn't have responsibilities then. And I was fun employed. And I was in a great protective and um, creative environment that was just glorious. Um, that was when I was like 25, 24. And as soon as I started having responsibilities again, um, especially when I opened up my own business, I had developed insecurities on living in the moment with fear of missing opportunity and disappointing people externally. So we create these commitments, right? Whether with my business, I was teaching dance lessons and I had these lessons that were scheduled um, and I had these ideas that, need, that needed to manifest in order to create the business I envisioned or create the movement, the service, the product that I envisioned and I dreamt about. So my mind is always searching for opportunity. My mind is always thinking about all the things that I'm responsible for that I have to do, whether send an email, make a phone call, um, when I have my lessons, um, uh, material I need to create, material I need to do in order to keep moving forward with the business so I don't go out of business. And I'm constantly thinking about this stuff because A, I don't want to forget it. B, I want to keep bringing it to my awareness so I take care of it. Okay? Um, but I'm finding that it's actually enslaving me to a um, narrow-minded perspective on how I, I approach my life. Um, I get tunnel vision on, on what I've mentally created because I'm no longer living exactly in the moment. So I'm realizing how important that is, okay? But today I have all these different things that are going, rolling around in my head that, you know, I, I got a message to send this person, I have to upload this video, I gotta create this video, I have to send out a newsletter, I've gotta, you know, drum up some business, what do I gotta do? Um, all that kind of stuff. And my organization is, it's okay, it's not perfect. So I'm realizing I need, it's important for me to give my power away to, I won't say power, but my responsibility of keeping track of these tasks, keeping track of the time, keeping track of the appointments, and put them into a schedule or a notebook. So what my thought is, if I have a notebook, physical notebook, that I can carry around with me, I don't know, strap it to my chest, and every time I have an idea, I have a thought, or I have a task that needs to be completed, I can write it down in this notebook. Maybe I'll have like 10 notebooks, I don't know, but I don't like the idea of carrying a notebook everywhere, but I also don't like the idea of doing it on my phone because of the, uh, you know, the phone. I just want to, you know, not be on the phone all the time. And I think this notebook will be more healthy. So the idea is I keep these tasks during the day. I write everything down that needs to happen. And then at the end of the day, I enter these tasks and ideas into either an organize, I either organize the ideas and thoughts into my Dropbox files, wherever they need to go. Or, and the tasks that need to be done, I put them in a Google calendar. And whether it's done tomorrow or two days from now or whatever. And then the next day, after I d I'm done with my morning routine and I'm ready to commit to my work, to my responsibilities, then I just simply look at these tasks and I do them. 
and relinquishing the mental control of trying to remember them all the time, I become vulnerable and give this pro I put the trust in the process in my process that I create and free myself from these responsibilities and just do what I'm being told to do from previous Michael and trust the system and be okay if I make mistakes and learn from it, be vulnerable from it. Um, I'm always having fear that if I make any mistake, especially in a new business, that I could go out of business like that. So yeah, that's something I feel like is really important on me to figure out this organization and stick to it, organize my life and stick to it and uh, free up the real estate up here to attract more abundance and creativity and have more fun with the now. Thank you for listening. I love you. You love me. We love each other. Let's have a beautiful life and enjoy this beautiful world. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.